Good morning! It's May 17 and today is a very important day. So I wanted to come and talk to you before I left. I'm getting ready for the hospital because it's my last chemo! Finally, um, we're at the end of this journey that began over six months ago and I'm so grateful if you're still here with me uh, to the end. On the one hand, I can't believe it's over because I always thought that it would be something that was so long and arduous and that would take forever. But at the same time, it feels like it was just yesterday when they gave me the diagnosis and told me that I would have to start chemo. So the journey ends today, hopefully. And after this, I get a PET scan to tell me if the chemotherapy worked and I'm in remission or if I have to do more chemo or if I have just have to do maintenance chemo, which is once every three or six months. So obviously, um, praying for a complete remission. But you know what? If I don't get the complete remission and they tell me that I still have to do more treatments, I think after this experience that I can do it. Remember when we started, I told you that courage is not the absence of fear. Bravery is doing what you have to do despite the fact that you're afraid. And I think that's one thing that became very obvious to me in the course of this journey. And also that you're stronger than you think you are and that you can do so much more than you think you can. When I first learned I had cancer and I had to do chemo, I was so scared. Um, I almost wanted to give up and just say, let me die. I don't want to do the surgery. I'm scared of the chemo. I'm scared of needles. And yet, here I am, six months later, I feel strong. My fingers are weird. Sometimes they stop working or my feet. I was taking a shower today and I fell because my foot suddenly just folded in itself. But things like that, when you think about it, are just part and parcel of the adventure that we're on. And no one ever promised me a rose garden, as I always say. So, coming out of this experience, I wanted to talk about three things. Humility, bravery, and gratitude. First of all, it humbles you, the cancer. You realize how mortal you are, how frail, and how much you need to depend on others. And it takes humility to admit that you need help, to admit that you're frail. And for someone who's so hard-headed and stubborn and independent as me that was so difficult because I've never had it's very difficult for me to ask for physical help um, and I'm more used to taking care of people than having people take care of me but if you're like me and you're going through this accept the help because it's given out of love and some people that's how they express love like my husband, um, he loves to take care of me, I think, because I never always resisted being taken care of. And the second thing after humility is bravery. Don't be afraid. You can do it. If I could do it, the person who's so scared of hospitals and needles, you can do it too. It's not going to be easy. There's going to be days when you want to give up, when you're going to cry, when the pain gets too much. And you're thinking, is it worth it? Is it worth going through this? But remember, you're not just doing this for yourself. You're doing it for your whole family and all the people that love you. So be brave and carry on. Because when you think about it, what else can you do? And lastly, the biggest thing I learned coming out of this is gratitude. Because... When I was first diagnosed with cancer, I realized how arrogant I was with thinking that I had made it in life. I was doing the job I loved. I had a family that I adored. I had everything. And I thought that life would just continue on this way. But life is not like that. And life 
throws you curveballs when you least expect it. But you have to remember that every day, you should find something to be grateful for. Because even when your life changes and becomes unrecognizable to you, there's always going to be things that you should thank God and the universe for. In my case, thankful for Ron and my family. I'm thankful for my office mates, my team in Accenture who allowed me to continue feeling useful and working and being patient with me. To all my friends that came out of the woodwork, some of whom I had not seen in years but who I still love dearly. To accompany me on this journey, it's been quite the adventure. When I first learned about Kadzor, I remembered all those movies I watched where the heroine was frail and struggling and falling down and fainting and being carried out of rooms so romantic, but that's not the reality. The reality is throwing up. The reality is your fingers hurting. Sometimes my whole face would hurt because my skin was falling off. But at the end of the day, I can just be grateful that I'm still here, that I have the strength to fight, and I still have strength left to fight some more if that's what going, it's going to take to get over this. So grateful for my doctors and the wonderful nurses at Makati Med who made each chemo as bearable as possible. And I'm grateful for my mom and for my sister whose brand of tough love is sometimes difficult, but I know. So I'm grateful for the warm blanket, big, huge blanket of love that all of you have wrapped me in. And remember, cancer didn't get this girl. It's not gonna get you either. And thank you for being with me on this journey. I love all of you very much.